Hello beautiful booktubers, I'm Becky Bookworm and I'm here today to do my April haul. Again, this is late because of changes in my everyday work life have meant that I've got less free time. So it's done, it's here, so let's get on with it. I'm going to try my best to make this super snappy and quick. I will link to all the books that I've mentioned down below so that if you want a bit more information they'll be there ready for you. Why Be Happy When You Can Be Normal by Jeanette Winterson. This is an autobiography of her life of which I believe Oranges Are Not The Only Fruit is based upon. I saw this mentioned on somebody else's channel and they basically said it's really upsetting and quite harrowing about what she had to put up with uh, being a, a lesbian in a religious family during the late 70s, early 80s, I think it is. Continuing my Vampire Chronicles read-along, I ordered a second-hand copy of The Vampire Lestat by Anne Rice. This is the continuation of Interview with a Vampire. As the title suggests, following The Vampire Lestat, how he was made, where he came from, and then what happened. I've read it before, but again, reading it again. The next, this was actually sent to me by the author themselves. It is a self-published copy and it is called Seek the Throat From Which We Sing by Alex C.F. They very kindly sent me this copy. As you can see, the cover is absolutely beautiful. So I've promised that I'll do a read and an honest review of this. Given to the Sea by Mindy McGuinness. This was actually last month's fairy loot box. And I believe this is a take on sacrifices to appease the gods. Bitten by Witch Fever. Uh, Wallpaper and Arsenic in the Victorian Home by Lucinda Hawksley. I am really excited about this. I, I saw this on somebody's booktube or on the internet or something and ordered it and I'm really glad I did. It's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, there's don't know if you can see on there but there's like an indent of a poison bottle and then when you look inside this book it's absolutely beautiful it's actual re repros of wallpaper that they tested that was actually found to have arsenic and poisons in it and then when you go into it there's like these little indents of pages that actually tell you the history behind it and all the information so I'm really looking forward to learning more about that and I find like I don't know like Victorian and old medical information and, and things like that really interesting so this is going to be really good. Another second hand book is Smoke Gets In Your Eyes by Caitlin Doughty. This lady actually runs the Ask a Mortician YouTube which is bloody brilliant. She is all for, she's um she's a natural burial advocate and does weekly videos talking about all things to do with death and dying and how they treated bodies in the olden days, what we do now, the effects of it. It's really interesting. So I'm pretty sure this is more of the same. I'm really excited about this one. I think that's everything. I tried to be as quick as possible because I'm aware quite a lot of my videos tend to stretch out forever and ever. And I know people generally don't like watching videos that take that long. So hopefully they have kept this concise enough. So, um, yeah. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'll be back again in another few days with yet another video, hopefully. Bye!